What's up YouTube, Biz Matthew here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about things you should know as a beginner wholesaler, wholesaling real estate. Now, I get this question a lot. How do I get started? Is this the first step, Biz Matthew? Uh, what should I do here or there? And I get a lot of these generalized questions on, I'm just confused where I should go. And so in today's video, I just wanna give out some pointers on what you should do in order to start your real estate wholesaling business. So if you all do not mind, be sure to like this video, subscribe and comment down below. Also follow me at Biz Matthew on Instagram. All right, things you should know as a beginner wholesaler. So point number one is to know the whole process of wholesaling real estate from A to Z. And when I say know the whole process, I'm not saying know every finite detail to a transaction or to comping but just know what are the steps to close a wholesale deal, right? And they're basically find a motivated seller, put them under contract, find a cash buyer, go to the title company, collect your check and move on. But know them a little bit deeper, but not too deep, right? Where it stops you from actually taking action. Cause I get a lot of DMs from you all on my Instagram and comments here on like these general questions that you can easily search on Google, right? And especially you all, if you're reaching out to an influencer to someone in the space, they're not going to take the time to answer a question that you can easily Google search, right? So people want, especially influencers, people on YouTube, they want to see that you are actually putting the effort in researching the topic, right? So if you're coming to them with a basic generalized question that could be easily Google search, a lot of times it shows that you're not actually putting the effort. You just want someone to give you and spoon feed you everything, right? But in reality, we just need to see you all put the effort into knowing the process of real estate wholesaling. So I get random questions like, what is a purchase and sales agreement? Or what is an assignment? Yeah, I mean, I can answer to that question. I'll probably have videos on those topics, but if you're gonna reach out to me, come on, make it worth your while. Like, I want to help you all. You know, give me a specific question. So just knowing the process as a beginner wholesaler is just key. I'm not saying you have to be a pro. I'm not saying you have to know like all the calculations and know how much rehab costs are, but like the general sense, the framework of a wholesale real estate transaction is something that you should know. Now, number two, I just wanna go very practical. As a beginner wholesaler, you should drive for dollars. <laughs> I think driving for dollars is one of the best avenues to get your first wholesale deal because I think when you're actually out there, you're actually moving your body and I think it does something for you and your action is just making your goal a reality when you're actually working to move your own body. You're driving around, you're looking at properties, so your eyes are being used to seeing properties in a whole new light, right? Instead of just seeing houses, now you're seeing them as real estate investments, potential wholesale deals. And so Drive for Dollars, if you all are interested in a Driving for Dollars app, use my link down below. Deal Machine is a great app that you can use. It just follows you along while you're driving and you can just click on a house and it automatically loads into a list that you can either cold call or send direct mail to. So check out the link below for deal machine. So with driving for dollars, I like it also because you actually see distressed properties and also that your driving for dollars list is unique to you. Not everyone has the same driving for dollars list and there are companies that don't even do driving for dollars. They just pull lists from different websites. Those are lists that everyone has. So it really puts you apart and driving for dollars is really cost effective for a lot of beginner wholesalers, right? You don't have to pay money for a list. You're just creating your list. Yeah, it's just different. And I recommend people, beginners, to co-call that list. So one of my friends, he came into the business, he was interested, and I just had him, I was like, go to the zip code, go to this area, drive for dollars, and he got an app and everything. I was like, okay, boom, drive, and then co-call them later. And I actually gave him like my phone dialer, you know, access and everything. If you all are interested in a phone dialer, check the link down below for phone burner. And he actually co-called that list, and we actually closed on that property. He ended up making a profit on that. So I think driving for dollars you all it's a really practical step that you could take as a beginner wholesaler because I know a lot of these videos they're just very broad and I wanted to make it as practical as possible so if you're a beginner wholesaler drive for dollars please and cold call that list and just see if people are interested in selling a property all right that brings me to my third advice or tip for beginner wholesaler is to stick to one marketing plan right let's say you are driving for dollars I want to recommend you all to send out mailers to also 
text and also cold call that list is try to stick to one let's say it's just cold calling try to stick to cold calling or even if you're not doing driving for dollars stick to one marketing let's say you're doing direct mail stick with that all the way through I know when I first started I started with texting and a little bit of cold calling and I think that's another reason why it took me a little bit longer to close my first deal it actually took me eight months to close my first deal but when I actually just settled down on a particular marketing campaign or marketing strategy which was direct mail that's when I saw results and that's how I got my first deal so I think with wholesaling and YouTube channels you know you hear do this do that or whatever and it can be confusing you don't know which one to do I say just any of them can work honestly just know that just believe that and try to stick with one for a couple of months and go hard with that so the fourth tip I want to talk about is make sure you stay on top of your leads right I think a lot of beginner wholesalers let's say you do get a motivated seller you automatically ignore all your other leads and you concentrate on one person that has an interest in talking with you who may or may not even be a motivated seller so make sure you treat all your follow-ups um, differently but still stick with all of them right because I think a lot of times I know like for me when I was working on my first deal I kind of like ignored all my other pending deals and you know timing kills deal and so if I wasn't putting the time in the other deals it kind of just faded away right so make sure you stay on top of your follow-ups because that's where all the money lies in reality I would say 80% of your deals will come from follow-up just consistent follow-up so make sure you all follow up with your leads so the fifth and final tip I want to share with you all is to know what your buyers are looking for right you always hear people say look for the contract first then find your buyers later you can do that and it will work especially if it's a good deal it doesn't matter like if you don't have a cash buyers list if you blast out a an extremely good deal buyers will rush to you but I think a lot of times when you don't really know how to comp a property properly it can be a little bit difficult for you to get a property under contract at a great deal so knowing what your buyers one ahead of time will really help you when you actually go to the sellers because you know okay I talked with this investor and he or she said that they like these type of properties they buy it for around this price they like to flip at this price they like to hold the rental at this price and so you can come to the seller already knowing that and so I think as beginner wholesalers sometimes you can start off by just knowing the cash buyer and their need before even marketing to seller right or before actually talking or negotiating price with your seller leads so not only talking about price what the buyers want but also talking about the type of properties they want right because I think we can like start marketing and start taking down random properties that no buyers want right so you got to know the neighborhoods you got to know the type of properties the square footage if people are looking for rentals mostly in your area or fix and flips what are the strategies that your investors in your area are looking for and you have to cater your marketing techniques to that all right you all I hope you all really enjoyed this video just giving five tips five advice five things you should know as a beginner wholesaler let me know down below which one you are struggling with most so be sure to like this video subscribe and comment down below and I hope you all have a great day